Welcome to another Zoompler tutorial. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to use the SPDIF connector, which you can see here as a uh, coax cable or as an optical cable, to output uh, digital uh, sound to your external receiver in uh, DTS and Dolby digital audio formats. Those usually used in DVDs. First thing, you can see the Wikipedia page. You can read a bit, little bit more about uh, the SPDIF connectors. Most modern uh, computers have uh, one type, at least, of an SPD connector, usually uh, the coax cable. These are basically your general audio cable, anything 75 ohms, that's pretty basic. Any of the old uh, audio or video connectors with this type of connection can uh, be used. There's no really uh, any difference to the quality of the cable except that uh, um, better quality cables can carry the signal to a greater distance. So uh, if your computer is uh, next to your receiver you can use basically any cable. There's no real sound degradation depending on the length or, or quality because this is a digital uh, signal. So any cable would do. I personally use a simple uh, uh, composite uh, video cable which works great. In this tutorial I will show you how to use FFD show as the audio decoder and uh, configure zoom player to use FFD show for both uh, Dolby Digital also known as AC3 and for DTS audio. First thing I'll open the options dialog and go to the audio section and I'll make sure that the default direct sound device is selected. This usually works for most systems. Some systems may require this SPDIF type interface, but it's not recommended, recommended uh, if the default direct sound device works for you. Next thing I do, I go into Smart Play and go into the Audio and Video Decoder section and in the Audio column I'll check that AC, AC3, which is Dolby Digital, is set to FFD show. And I'll check the same for DTS. If it's not, you can click on the configure button and select it from the list. Next, I'll open the FFD show audio configuration dialog. You can do this by clicking on the FFD show audio decoder and then selecting the filter properties and here you can see all the formats the FFD show audio decoder supports uh, for this tutorial we care about AC3 which is Dolby Digital and DTS now FFD show may supports more than one decoder for both formats for DTS you can see libdts and libav codec and for AC3 you can see libA52 and libav codec. So if one of them doesn't work you can try the other to see maybe it works better on your system. Next you go to the output section and you select path through SPDIF and I selected Dolby Digital and DTS for higher end sound system for uh, true HD or uh, DTS HD you can also check these. Uh, I unchecked this as it caused some sound issues on my system so if you're getting noise when trying to play um, digital audio make sure to uncheck this first. Finally you have this option right here which tells uh, FFD show audio decoder to re-encode any audio into SPDIF mode so it will pass digitally to uh, your receiver just uh, keep in mind that if you do this and uh, you may experience slight 
audio degradation. And you can also limit it to 5.1 streams, but uh, that's really up to you. Finally, press OK. OK again. Close the option dialog. And the next media you will play that contains uh, DTS or Dolby Digital Audio should pass digitally to your external receiver. Uh, you will usually see a light on the receiver saying that it's receiving either DTS or Dolby Digital sound. I hope this tutorial was informational. Come see us again.